in this lecture we'll continue with our function plot but this time we're gonna do 3d so let's select 3d so in 3d we have the function side and then we have where we have to also key in the function so we can choose our grid the mesh grid which is the number of columns and the number of rows in our mesh and we can also choose our scale in the x-axis and in the y-axis so let's try something let's just try 0 to 20 let's try 0 to 20 and let's try three times x to the power three plus okay let's let's copy this and make it plus control v plus control v plus control v so we have this plus let's make this four and let's make this y and let's make this minus let's make this minus x squared and also try making this maybe six y squared let's just try this okay so we have this let's copy it in case we lose it and okay let's try it so there you go and it builds the function for you as well it, bu it builds your your sheet for you as well so this is it so this will be kind of like the solution if if you plot this you are going to get this okay so you can let's zoom in and rotate it around so it looks so cool and you can edit this as we do so let's double click it brings you back to the function and you can edit it in here if you want let's let's see if we change the mesh to 500 we make it more finer i guess and we can also change the scale or change the equation let's just make one four and hit apply and it, it changes it so whatever equation that you have to plot you can always use this to plot and you can come back and edit it so you can edit this as we always do so you can edit all of these just try them whichever one that you like can be changed you can add a color map to it as well and there you go let's see if there's a color map associated so let's go to color map okay i can find that okay and you can also change the mesh okay i think it would rather be here and so you can use color map then so now you have the color map associated with it and you can change the width of the mesh and all so it's something cool if you have all these uh you can play around with them if you want side walls or not
Iya. Yeah. Yeah, so you can play around this and also change as we've already shown. You can you can change this to maybe a cube and make this three apply. You can change the colors around and and use it to demonstrate which maybe you modeled an equation or something. You can easily use this to plot. And it's also interactive, so you can come back in and so you can come back and edit your your graph as well. Yeah, so yeah, that'll be it for function plot. Before I forget there was one thing. So if you come to plot and you come to function you can go to let's say 2d the first one is theme so let's just try this you can go to a function let's choose exponent so you have an exponent and you can come to theme and copy it and close this and come to file come to new come to function plot and there you go you can choose 2d once you're here you can come back to theme and do paste and it brings back this you can however also save your theme so you can always save your theme here you can go to save us and save it so that Maybe if you're using, you have an equation, you can build your library yourself. But there are tons of things to do using this function too. And the last thing will be label. So when you're building your equation, you can add labels. Remember you have long names, so you can put your words, you can put units in your equation. You can put comment, which will become legend in your, in your plot as well.